A barely disguised genocide. Notes from the edge of the narrative matrix. I just read a New York Times piece about the bodies that are trapped beneath the rubble in Gaza, which said the Gaza Health Ministry estimates that there are 7,000 people listed as missing, but adds that that figure has not been updated since November. November. There is no chance that any of the numbers we're getting out of Gaza are up to date, including the death counts. Their infrastructure is shot, and the scene is just too chaotic. Nobody can keep track of anything anymore. ISIS keeps attacking the enemies of the U.S. and Israel for some strange and mysterious reason, while funding for the main humanitarian group in Gaza gets cut due to completely unevidenced claims of Hamas affiliation. Refund UNRWA, defund ISIS. It's funny to see the U.S. proposing a fake U.N. ceasefire resolution which doesn't actually demand a ceasefire, when it's public knowledge that the U.S. could single-handedly create a ceasefire by telling Israel it will stop receiving U.S. weapons if it doesn't negotiate one right now. Ben Shapiro just cancel-cultured Candace Owens out of a job for saying Palestinians are human beings, and Alex Jones has condemned Israel's genocidal atrocities before most Democrats on Capitol Hill have. American right-wing punditry is a trip, man. It sure is a crazy coincidence how all this stuff about difficulty with food distribution, collateral damage, human shields, the need to eliminate Hamas, etc., just happens to combine to create a situation that looks exactly the same as committing a genocide against an undesirable population. They're just doing a horrible thing they've wanted to do for ages and then using narrative to cover it up. Oh no, it turns out it's really hard to get food and medical supplies to this undesirable population. Oh no, it turns out the bad guys are hiding in the hospitals and the civilian infrastructure. Oh no, it turns out the bad guys are hiding behind large numbers of women and children. Oh no, it turns out we're going to need you all to move off the land we've been coveting for generations. It's a sick joke that not even a child would fall for. But you see Western government officials and major news outlets treating it seriously every goddamn day. It's a barely disguised genocide happening right out in the open. And the people responsible for telling the public what's going on in the world are pretending it's actually a very unfortunate series of highly convenient coincidences. There's an elephant in the room wearing a cardboard crown as a disguise. And they're all calling it your highness and telling everyone the king has come to visit. Israel routinely massacres civilians who are waiting for food, attacks hospitals, picks off civilians with drones and snipers, and is deliberately starving the frailest and most defenseless people in Gaza to death. But the Western political media class keeps calling this a war. People who wish to conflate Zionism with Jewishness often argue that most Jews are Zionists, but so what if they are? Most Westerners are propaganda-addled imperialists, but if I didn't believe Westerners can and do snap out of that worldview, I wouldn't be doing what I do here. In any system where people are being indoctrinated at mass scale by the powerful, you're going to see the majority of that population buying into the indoctrination. But conflating the people with the political ideology they're indoctrinated with serves only to confuse and distort. If people had conflated Nazism with Germany, that logic could have been used to justify exterminating every German after World War II. But because that distortion wasn't made, it opened up the possibility of de-indoctrinating the nation from that pernicious worldview. Betting on the possibility of a better future means drawing a distinction between the people and the unhealthy worldviews they've been indoctrinated with, whether that's Zionism, Western imperialism, or anything else. We can only have a healthy world when the people snap out of their propaganda-induced coma and shake off the power-serving worldviews of this diseased civilization.